alustame väike sadamate elu- ja keskkonna uurimist. Räägitakse, et Lätimaal olevad ka selliseid mehi, kes ei oska ilma mereta ja rannaküla eluta kuidagi toime tulla. Saame nendega tuttavaks. Selleks võtame ette reisi Läti Läänekaldale. Pavilosta on pikka ajalooga sadamapaik, mis asub lühikese Sakajõe suudmes. Sadama jaoks on see päris mõnus koht, sest jõgi on juba looduslikult päris sügav, kohat isegi kuni 12 meetrit. Hi, Marco. Hi, Ronalds. Ronalds. Harbour master. Harbour master. What, what was here? A fishing harbour? Or a well, it was a fishing harbour and a ship repair yard. Ship small repair. one, yes. But it was closed the area because of a border status. Okay. It was like untouched during Soviet times for, for many people. Kunagi see piiritsooni mõjusid oli pavilostas tunda veel üpris hiljuti. Kuigi juba aasta kümneid on kõigil võimalus mere ääres aega veeta, on selleks võimaluste arendamine olnud tõeliselt hoos alles viimasel kümnendil. Ronalds jõudis siia, sest armastab märd ja tuht. I came here uh, ten years ago. I just came to this place uh, to windsurf and then I spent few summers here and I thought I will move from Riga to here and then I found uh, what to do here and that is uh, to manage the cardboard. <laughs> First I wanted uh, to live in Pavlos because I like the environment better. I want the, this view from my window that I can see, see and uh, plenty of nature around and so, and the harbour nearby. Uh, I was uh, working as a creative director at a few advertising companies. I somehow get uh, bored or unsatisfied of the fact what I'm doing ethically. I'm trying to sell uh, goods for people who can't afford it and uh, the goods that they don't need actually and so and so. I'm doing it professionally, manipulating them and so. I was never thinking about it when I was younger, but now I'm getting old. I thought, what I'm doing, it's not a good thing. Let's improve my karma, let's move, move make a harbor. <laughs> okay. We had one pier there somewhere down the river. And that was it. That was nothing. <laughs> Just a river. Just a river Blue was river. One, one pier for uh, small fishing boats. And there were some five. People were laughing at me when I told this vision that there can be a nice yacht harbor and so and so. And now it's like, like a puzzle, it's coming together and I'm happy to see what's going on. This is also one of last developments, this uh, floating apartment. There was a very old rotten pier during one of these uh, Estonia Latvian projects. Uh, we repaired this, it was renovation of a pier. And now it's floating again, and uh, there are apartments which are pretty popular. They are booked uh, till autumn already. Right. And it works like two in one because it's a pier really for both, and it's platform for apartments. On a the corner there is this uh, system for uh, pumping out uh, bad waters, okay. and it's also good. It's working in two ways. One is from boats, another is from homes. So it's. Well, we are one of uh, two blue flag harbors in Latvia, so our water quality is very good. And uh, there are no pollution, uh, there are no any cargo works going on here, so anyone can swim right in the harbor. This is, yes, we are very proud of this 20 ton stationary crane. This looks brand new. It is, it is. It's operated with a small remote and it works by one millimeter. Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice. 20,000 kilograms. Yes. It can yes. lift almost everything. Oh, one more thing. We've got completely new navigation uh, equipment. These leading lines, mm -hmm. the lights for them. Also our mole lights. Also our reception boy. Also isolated danger boy. Absolutely new equipment, which is uh, synchronized by GPS between them. It's wonderful, wonderful. 
very very <laughs> exact system, right? Yes, yes. Yes. Like a cameras all around and uh, these uh, M3 barriers. And I also control them from my smartphone, and so it's pretty okay. really cool. Kuid Ronalds pole ainus, kes pavilosta sadamat edendab ja kohalikust elust rõõmu tunneb. Siin toimetab ka mees, kelle puhul saab juba peale vaadates öelda, et temaga võib merele minna küll. Hello? Uh, hi, Marko! Marko. <laughs> hi, hi, Marko! Would you help me, please? What is your name? And Dirts. 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 Yeah, that's right. And you are a fisherman? Or? A little bit. But I can show you how to f- catch a fish. Catch a fish? Yeah. The Latvian yes. style. So. Can I help you? Oh, yeah, please. How do you call yourself? I do many things. Mm-hmm. This is a summer job for me. I do the harbor master. So, and yeah, I want to catch some fish as well. Because I have a big family, four children, oh. and everyone from them will eat <laughs> fish. <laughs> they have no choice. <laughs> Kirts on põline pavilostalane. Siin kulgedes võib tunduda, et seda meest jätkub kõikjale ja korraga. Suvel käib ta merel nii kalal kui lõbusõite tegemas, samal ajal peab kohvikud ja lahutab kõigi meelt, kes ta teele satuvad. Talve lõpetab ta hoopis liepa ja ülikoolis, kui elab ikka siin, oma lemmikus rannakülas. I enjoying it as well. And right now we are going to the sea. And you have all your special places in the sea. Yeah, of course, you... of course. But pinpoint the place where the best fish is. And approximately here, the sea ground is rocky. And that's good for fish. There's a lot of sand. And from here up, uh, it's... How deep is it there? It's approximately three meters right now. I will go a little bit closer to approximately two meters, so the depth. Yeah, 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 it's good, 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 good. Yeah, it's good, good, good. Not good, not good. <laughs> you just put it, yeah, 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 yeah. Now it goes like charm. Opa, hop. And tomorrow we will know how lucky we are. <laughs> Soovime Girtsile kivikotti. Tundub, et oleme leidnud inimese, kelle elu kulgeb tema jaoks ainu õiges keskkonnas. Pavilosta ei ole ka ainus sadam, mis on tänu Eesti-Läti piiri ülese koostöö programmile tõeliselt ellu ärganud. Suurte uuenduste tuult on tunda saanud terve võrgustik väike sadamaid ja neist järgmisesse Ventspilsi jahisadamasse jõuamegi juba nädala pärast.